Hi FTC teams, my name is Ishan from Wizards.exe and today I'm going to show you through different ways that you can retain USB cables to your expansion hub. So one of the ways that we're going to look at is 3D printed um, strain relief and the other way that we're going to look at is the new Rev USB retention that allows us to keep USB cables plugged into the back of, a US, uh, of the expansion hub. During matches, the USB cable that's plugged into the Rev Hub can wobble. So you can see how it can wobble here. And throughout the vi match, the vibrations of the robot can cause it to fall out or to disconnect with the expansion hub. So in order to fix this, one of the ways that we will look at is using this 3D printed piece of strain relief. So this is uploaded on our Thingiverse and will be in the description below. And um, it just sits on the, U on the expansion hub like this. The USB cable will sit in here, and then a zip tie can be used to hold it in place. One of the things to note about a USB cable is we prefer this Lindy cable because it's only one wire to connect your expansion hub to the phone. And a lot of other solutions require using two wires, which is an extra point of connection which can come loose during a match. So how you put this on is we've got some M3 screws here. We're gonna put them through the expansion hub and put them through the um, strain relief. And then we can put the M3 nuts on top and tighten. And we've got these hex drivers to help us tighten them up. So once the screws are all the way tightened in, what you can do is you can take your USB cable and plug it into the expansion hub like this. And then what we do is we take this zip tie and we put it through the two holes around the USB cable. As you can see, it went through the two holes and tightened. Make sure you tighten all the way so that the USB cable cannot fall out. As you can see, the USB cable does not wiggle as much, and I can't pull it out. For the Rev USB retention um, kit, make sure to read the instructions before applying. The USB retention con contains this wipe, the safety sticker, the adhesive, a couple of screws, and a USB cable that can plug into the expansion hub. One of the cool things about this USB cable is it has a 90 degree which helps take strain off of the wire. So the first step is to wipe down the back and the bottom of the expansion hub. There are two wipes that are provided. So first take the wipe that's labeled number one and then wipe it down. So once it's wiped down, take the wipe labeled number two and use it to dry out the area. So once your area is fairly dry, take the expansion hub mount sticker right here and line it up with the USB port on the expansion hub. So I'm going to peel it off and I'm going to line up the lines on the sticker to the USB port. Make sure to press out any bubbles, that way the sticker does not fall out. Okay. 
once the safety sticker is fully pressed onto the expansion hub, we're ready to start putting together the um, mount. Take this piece that's included in the kit and place the right angled USB um, wire into the piece. Like this. Next, take this piece and put it on top of the USB wire. This is what's going to secure the USB wire and prevent it from falling off the expansion hub. Screw these together using a hex driver. But, yeah. I put it in the wrong way and that's a very easy mistake to make. So make sure you put the screw into the hole that has a hex shape so and the hex nut in it. into the other side. Make sure the screw is all the way in the hole and then tighten it. Do the same for the second screw. All right, the next step is the most crucial step. It's to take the adhesive and to place it on top of the USB cable. So peel off the adhesive, but do not remove the red part, only remove the backing. Place the adhesive on the, um, on the mount as shown. As you can see, you can still see the two screws when the adhesive is placed. The last step is to peel the adhesive and place the USB port into the expansion hub. It will be a tight fit and make sure that it goes in all the way. Once it's in, it should take about five minutes for everything to stick and stay together, so do not play around with it, but um, this will help you to secure your USB cable. One of the things with this cable is it ends in a USB type A, so you will need to use an OTG cable like this one that is sold on the Rev website, and you can plug it in and plug this into your phone. This will allow you to fully connect your expansion hub to your robot very easily. If you have an exposed OTG cable like this one, make sure you put electrical tape around it in order to prevent electrostatic shocks from causing interference. Thank you.